Is it really necessary to brew Coors Light down as low as 34 degrees? Do the mountains really need to turn blue when your beer's as cold as the Rockies? You be the judge. Frost Brew Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. It's 2011, you know what that means? We're back to Chalk Talk, and I'll tell you, I tried to find a Seahawk play as best I could, but very little execution in that game. Other than some unbalanced, if you go back and you wanna watch and find something in that Seahawk game, study how the Seahawks used Russell Okung, not a left tackle, they actually moved him over and went unbalanced with three linemen. They put Zach Miller at tight end next to Carpenter on this side, and had a little bit of success running the ball. Don't see, be surprised if they come back to that. now. Conversely, where there was not a ton of execution on offense for the Seahawks, the Huskies had a whole bunch against Hawaii. And this one play in particular really jumped out at me. This is in the first quarter. This is Jermaine Curse's second touchdown to go up 21 to zero at that point. And what this play is, is really what, and that's why I call it the greatest show on field turf. Uh, this is a play that the St. Louis Rams under Mike Martz made famous. In fact, when I was with the Seahawks and Mike Holmgren tried to implement this play, we called it Two Jet Rams because the Rams had so much success with the concept. So not the exact play, but the concept. And it was Marshall Falk and Ricky Prohl and Oz Akeem and the whole crew. And Steve Sarkeesian really did a nice job through his formation and personnel group to set up the same ideal matchup that you always found those Rams in. So let's break this down. First and foremost, what should jump out to you anytime you look at a play and you try to study the X's and O's is what is my personnel and what is the formation? And when you look at this play, the personnel group is actually four wide receivers for the Huskies. A huge advantage when you bring that much speed on the field. You have Case and Williams, actually have Joy Ferguson in. And as you know, when you go empty against a team, typically, especially at the college level, you see one of two things, coverage or blitz. And immediately Hawaii shows you with the look that they give you that it's gonna be coverage. And on the play, you just have Case and Williams on the backside and Ferguson on the backside taking care of these three defenders and just trying to run them off. You had four down linemen with five blockers, so you're fine there. So for Keith Price, the whole play, you're not even looking on this side, really becomes this, and study this, and you will see this come again and again and again when you get into bunch formation. When I look at bunch formation as a quarterback, I used to think, High risk, high return. If everybody gets off smooth, if everybody gets out on time, we have a chance to really take advantage of a defense. And typically, this is the formation that you will see defensively. It's what they call a box. And you have four defenders on three wide receivers. So you think advantage defense. I got four guys to stop three. You'll see route recognition, you'll study what they do in their releases, and four should take away three, unless, as you see what the Huskies do, three things. Number one, spacing. And this was really a concept that Tom Moore taught in Indianapolis. You hear spacing in basketball all the time, right? Coach K and, and Bobby Knight always talking about spacing the floor, spacing in soccer, all the triangles and everything else you see. Well, spacing, just as critical in football. These splits, they have landmarks to hit and the Huskies hit them perfectly. Secondly, and this is most important, is the timing with this play. So what the Huskies do, I'm trying to get out of the way on this concept, okay, is you have James Johnson and he releases first and he has got to get off the ball. If he does not get off the ball, the play is dead. He gets off the ball and immediately impacts, splits these two, the corner and the safety, and runs this corner. And you see it take the safety out and even influence the cornerback. So that one route, getting off clean, exploding off the field, the timing of that opens everything else up. Secondly, so he goes first, and you can see the order of it. When you watch it in the replay, watch the timing and the feel that these guys have. Secondly, you see Kevin Smith immediately come off and take the linebacker out. So he's knocked out. So now what do I have? Like Warren Moon said, I've got a one-on-one. -on -one. I have my best receiver. I have Jermaine Curse on their linebacker, one-on-one, -on, -one on the route that the Rams made famous. And that's that little slant route. The ability to come underneath, to influence the linebacker, cross his face. Keith Price hits it. So ultimately, spacing, timing, and the precision. And you, com you combine those three elements, and three can beat four nearly every time. 